Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are back at the Salvation Army. We actually visit two Salvation Army stores today, but the first thing I noticed when I walked in was this giant potato, which I think is supposed to be used to serve mashed potatoes. And then when I opened it up, I noticed there was a smaller mash, like a smaller potato shaped um, gravy dish and then I noticed the salt and pepper uh, potatoes. I thought it was super cute. I don't have any use whatsoever for it. I don't think it's vintage but maybe um, but I just thought it was cute. I, <laughs> I had to go back and look at it again. Um, I was definitely tempted because I think it, it is like a very cute thing to have on your table but I don't even like mashed potatoes so when would I ever use it? didn't say that. I do like instant mashed potatoes, but that's the only kind. I Every time I see a piece of green glass, I'm so tempted to buy it, but I already have so much, so I did leave that. This is kind of their little autumn section. Um, they didn't really have a whole lot. It mostly looked like newer, more modern pieces, but um, it's always fun to look. I do like this tray but again I don't have I have so many trays and serving dishes now that I definitely don't need to buy anymore unless it was like a really amazing piece I loved this little glass box. Um, I used to actually have something very similar, but it broke. And I held on to it broken for such a long time, but I only just recently discarded it. I was tempted to get it, but I, I realized I don't really need it, but it was really cute. I love this little heart box too. My grandma has a bunch of these types of boxes in her house. I thought it had a hinge on it, they usually do, but I guess, um, cause it's so small it didn't, so that's why the, top just kind of fell off and then I made a magnificent discovery <laughs> I found the I believe it was a Nesco made these it's like a mouse and a wedge of cheese salt and pepper shakers years and years and years ago I found the mouse just by itself the cheese wedge wasn't there um, so I've been hoping to find the wedge of cheese all these years, but I've never come across it. Um, so when I saw those, I couldn't believe it. And it's funny because I have been saying in a lot of my recent videos that it's just very hard for me to find vintage salt and pepper shakers these days. Like I, I used to see them a lot more, but I say the last two to three years, it's few and far in between, but... I was very excited to find those and they were such a great deal as well. So then I ran, I ran over to tell John that I had found them and then he was showing me these laser gun things he found. He didn't end up getting them, but um, he had seen them at the last thrift store we were at. Uh, we went to Valley Village earlier that day, that video I posted a couple of days ago. Um, so anyway then i decided to just have a little look while i was over here and i made another amazing discovery uh not this but this is also amazing this blow dryer from the 70s uh, it's so cool i kind of wish i would have got it but uh, i like i already have a blow dryer so i don't like need it but the more i look at it the more i'm like oh that would look so cool on a vintage vanity but and it's also like kind of gross at the same time i'm not sure like how well you could really get in there and clean a blow dryer, but very, very cool. And then I found this vintage 70s vanity makeup mirror. I am so obsessed with this. I used to have one very similar to this when I was in high school, but um, I think I had got it at a thrift store as well back then. Um, so yeah, it's very cool. And it's still in the box too, which is really neat. I did a quick, um, little look through the like linen section, just in case there's any more vintage sheets in there that I'm going to make, uh, a bunch of money on those Disney ones I found in here. I don't know. 
a month or two ago. They sold pretty quick after I posted them, so very happy. I haven't really been finding a lot of kids sheets though, but they're one of my best sellers. I'll, I think all I have right now is like a Holly Hobby sheet, which has been taking forever to sell. So this sheet that I'm uh, holding right now, I believe is Holly Hobby as well. I didn't bother like unfolding it to get to the tag, but just because I have had the other one for so long uh, and it hasn't sold, I just decided to leave that one there. But then I went back into the back room. John was already back there having a look at the books. So we just chatted for a little and then I went on to show you more. I saw these two quiche pans. It's a larger one and then a smaller one. And I kind of regret not getting these, but I couldn't remember if I had already bought the quiche pan or not. But now that I'm looking at it and I see the smaller one, I feel like I should have got it, but oh well. Um, so they have a lot of dishes in this particular Salvation Army. I thought these were um, really pretty. And I did notice that they had the larger plates um, down below on another shelf. I always find it weird when they don't put the same patterns together. And then we saw this um, Corel pattern. This has a very 90s feel to it, to me. I feel like florals were very big in the 90s. I noticed that they still have the banana split dishes. I believe these are vintage because the glass is really thick. I did buy two, but I never got to use them. I was like, oh, we can make banana splits, but I never got around to it. And then I noticed um, this here, and I've been actually wanting to collect this pattern in different colors. Um, so I was like, oh, this is perfect, but it was actually $15 and I just felt like that was more than I wanted to pay. I also liked that one back there. I'd never seen that pattern before, so I was debating it um, for a while, but I don't know. I feel like even just a year ago, this would have been like $5 in this store, so I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to be a vintage collector these days, it seems. On this particular day um, here and at Value Village, I was seeing a ton of those recipe pie plates. I think they're so cute, but I don't really have a use for them. Also, I thought this quiche pan was really pretty. I loved this bowl with the pheasant in it. Uh, I love pheasants so much. In one of our old houses um, down in that neighborhood, it's kind of rural. Well, not kind of, it's very rural. Apparently like years ago, maybe in the 70s or something, someone had been breeding pheasants and then it just went wrong, I guess, or something. But now because of that, there are just a ton of pheasants down there that just, you know, kept living there I guess uh, and I just used to love it I would look outside my window and there would be a bunch of pheasants out in the yard and I'd go for walks and there'd be a bunch of pheasants walking along the road I just loved it so much it was the first time I've ever been up close with the pheasants but I just love them so great 
And then funny enough, I see this crock pot and I had just seen it earlier that day at Valley Village, if you watched my last video. Um, and I don't know that I've ever seen that pattern before, but it was weird to see it twice and one day at two different places. It has a very early 2000s look to it with the that pattern on it. I was briefly considering getting these little things for a charcuterie board, but I decided not to. I'm pretty sure this juice it uh, was here the last time we were here, maybe even the last couple of times, so no one's bought that. I was considering it, but like at the end of the day, I probably would never use it, so I don't know. It would just be like one more thing taking up space on the counter. I love these uh, machines. I feel like the ones with the line in the middle that like cuts the sandwich are the best. It gets it nice and crispy, but I don't feel like I would want to use a used one. You have one, but it doesn't have the lines and it makes me want to get one that does. We have one that's like has interchangeable plates so you can make waffles in it too, which is why I got it, but I do miss the one with the lines. And the empty Betty Crocker recipe box is still there. I feel like this has been here for months. Everyone's probably gonna buy it. Um, and then also, I love these two. I already have two or three, so I don't need any more, but I think the ones I have are, have the Spice of Life pattern on them, but I just love them. So every time I see one, <laughs> it makes me wanna buy it, but then I'm like, wait, I already have too much. So now we are on our way to the other one. This one is my favorite of the two. It's a lot bigger. They have a lot more furniture. I found some amazing vintage pieces in here today too. Um, but I love the shot of just driving down the street and I love the shot of the outside of this building. It just gives me um, major like 1950s vibes. I especially love it at Christmas time because the streets are decorated. It's just so cozy. It's like um, out of a Lifetime movie or something. I love the ladies who work here too. They're so nice. Uh, they just seem like they're always in such a great mood. So anyway, they have kind of the same thing as the last one, a little like autumn-y section here. I noticed right away they had this big um, tur uh, platter down there with a turkey on it. It'd be good for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in Canada is in October. It's in like a week, I guess. Wait, today's Thursday. It's next, not this Sunday, but a week from Sunday, I guess. I'm not really a big fan of turkey dinner at all, so we we usually don't even celebrate Thanksgiving, um, but I was asking John if he wanted me to make him a turkey dinner, because um, I would if he wanted it, but um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but I've never really been into Thanksgiving. It's like my least favorite holiday, I think. I never enjoyed it ever when I was a kid either. Like having to go and eat a turkey dinner was just like, ugh. We usually don't really have turkey dinner at Christmas time either. Just prefer to have something different.
I was looking at all these little knickknacks and then I noticed all these panda bears. They're so sweet. I am obsessed with pandas. My Instagram feed is pretty much only just like filled with animal videos. And um, like a couple days ago, one of them was a panda just in an enclosure, but he was just doing somersaults <laughs> the whole video. It was so cute. Looked like he was having a great time. So this shelf is actually new. I don't remember this the last time I was here. They had a lot of different like larger canisters and things and I saw this one that I really liked. The rose pattern looks the same as my china. Um, so I wanted to look at the bottom just to see if it was. It didn't have a name on the bottom, I don't think, um, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, and then I realized that we are actually in, um, this is like a clearance section. So everything in here is 50% off, which is kind of cool. This doll looked really old, but I don't really know enough about dolls to know like what's valuable and what's not. So I did just leave it there even though it was 50% off. It's hard when I'm filming thrift with me videos because I'm using my phone to film. So I don't want to, like if I want to look something up, I'd have to stop filming and it would just be, we were kind of in a hurry on this day too. So I feel like I don't generally end up looking stuff up as much as I would normally. I saw these drum light shades, like true dumb drum light shades. Um, and I was very tempted to get them for my vintage lamps in my living room, but I just wanted them to not be white. So <laughs> I ended up just leaving them. And then I saw this like rattan kind of looking um, corner shelf which I was kind of interested in, but it wasn't in the greatest of shape. So I did end up just leaving that there. I saw they had a ton of oil lamps too. I don't remember them having that many before, um, but those take me back to being a kid too, because we had them in our house. We used to use them all the time. I, I would feel like terrified to use them now, but it was totally normal then. <laughs> like, especially we had cats and stuff. That's one of the main reasons why I would be terrified to use it is cause, like Marley. But um, she's actually sitting next to me <laughs> when I said her name, she looked at me. Um, yeah, I thought this mug was kind of funny too. I used to work night shifts, so I can totally relate to like needing to stay up all night and uh, it takes a toll on your body for sure. I always like to take a quick glance over the kind of like art and photo kind of area because you never know when you're gonna find something vintage and I noticed these bird um I was gonna call them paintings but they're not they're like plaques I guess I have some more of this t type of plaque um so I did end up getting those I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put them but I just felt like I needed to have them <laughs> and then if I don't end up using them I can always sell them they kind of give me 80s vibes with the pink but um, yeah they were um, pretty inexpensive but other than that I didn't see too much that was of interest to me but I will say I love these like velvety paintings so much they look so vibrant um, but I just don't feel like I have anywhere to put it. So I've seen them a few other times before and had the same kind of thought process going through my head of whether I should get it or not. This actually did look vintage to me and so did the brown one back there, one of those like choppers, but I'm not sure. And then I did notice this vintage blender. This is pretty similar to the one that I already have. This bigger crock pot that's kind of plaid, uh, 
this has been here forever. I, I don't think I've ever seen a crock pot in that shape before until I seen that one, but it's been months and months, maybe if not more than a year. And then I noticed a bunch of Wilton, um, those cake pans. These were so popular, especially when I was a kid. So I didn't realize that it was that old, but this one, this space one's actually from the 70s. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I should look that up. I'm not, I'm not sure if I stopped filming and looked it up or John came over and he looked it up, but um, anyway, we did end up getting that one and then there was another one there as well. I did take a quick little look through the Christmas, or not Christmas, just through the records. Um, I earlier that day had found one of the Christmas um, Firestone Christmas records and now I only need one more so I'm feeling like I should look through all the records all the time now and hopefully I'll find the last one that I need um, this year. I saw one of the Corningware French white dishes that I had just bought at Value Village and it was actually cheaper at Value Village which is shocking. <laughs> So uh, I guess I made a good move buying it there. Right at the beginning of the kind of furniture area, I noticed this really old piece of equipment. I'm not even 100% sure what it is. Uh, it's like a tube and battery tester, but I don't know like what that means exactly, um, but it looks pretty old. And then they had also this fridge. It's probably from maybe the 70s or early 80s or something, but it just looks so cool. I wish that we could have got it, but like we don't need it. We ha already have one. This one's quite a bit bigger as well, so, but I did really like it. I like how the top is like a faux wood grain. And then this is the other um, pan that we ended up getting. It's the Pink Panther, but it actually didn't have the um, thing, but it was from the 70s too. And then this has been here for a while, I'm guessing because of the price maybe. So I love this store because it has this huge furniture area, which I just love. And right away I noticed this old hamper that is very much in the style of what, how I want to like do the bathroom. I want the bathroom to be more like a late 60s vibe, maybe early 70s. Um, so I did end up getting this. It was only $10 and I thought, well, this is a great deal. Um, so it's just, I just have it in storage now, but um, like until I go to redo the bathroom, but I've been kind of just collecting things that I think would work in a, a kind of a different style bathroom. So I was really excited. The lid is like a little bit loose on it, but John said he thinks he can fix it. And then I noticed this kind of um, 70s looking cart in behind. I was thinking about getting that too, but the wheels were like incredibly squeaky. And then I noticed this entertainment stand here that is almost identical to the one that I have in my office it was even looks the same it's just that uh, I painted it with some chalk paint because it was looking a little rough that one actually looked in pretty good condition they had this other like huge piece of furniture here as well And then I noticed the sewing desk. I thought it was a singer at first, but usually it says singer on the pedal down there. So it just said new home. I've never seen one that said that before, but I love these old desks, but I don't have a use for it, but they're so beautiful.
then as we rounded the corner here, I saw this amazing little round ottoman. I love this. This definitely looks very 70s. I kind of regret not getting it. It was in decent shape too. And when John opened it up, um, we noticed that there was like legs in there for a piece of furniture. So someone probably forgot that it was in there or they didn't have that furniture anymore or something. So, but yeah, it was um, very cool. It would definitely fit with our 70s kind of basement theme. Um, and then, so I wasn't really thinking there was too much vintage here, but then I saw the most amazing piece, maybe of furniture I've ever seen. I've never seen a full actual chair, like I've seen the little portable ones, but this was a full actual working salon chair and I... I wanted this so bad, but I don't have any space for it. But I just think how cool it would be to have something like that in your home. It was very, like, a very good price, too. I don't know if it would, like, actually fit in our car either, but uh, this definitely... Um, is more of an 80s look to me when I think about like what a salon would look like in the 80s with that blue color. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't know. I feel like it didn't quite have the 60s or even 70s look, but I think it was very cool nonetheless. Had to take a brief look through the linens over here as well. I didn't end up seeing anything that caught my eye that I wanted to pick up on this day. I thought I would take a look at the uh, like hair uh, stuff just to see if they had anything cool and vintage like the last place. Uh, this tiny one reminds me of one that I had in the 90s though. And then I spotted these phones, uh, not rotary, but uh, still old, it's like, I don't know, probably late 80s or something. I stopped having rotary dial. It's like, oh, it's so much easier just to push buttons. <laughs> the worst part about the rotary dials was when you were making a call and you like messed up a number, like at the end, you have to start all over again. <laughs> but I still love them. We actually have one that works, um, but we don't have a landline, so I've never been able to like actually use it because um, we've not had a landline. I saw this mug from the 90s. It was very like cottage core, I think. So I put it back down, but then I did notice that there was another matching one. So I did end up getting both of these. I think I'm just gonna put them up for sale in my Etsy shop, but the 90s are really big with um i feel like especially like the younger generation who wasn't alive during that time and it's so weird hearing people talk about the 90s who weren't alive to experience it is so weird um so now i kind of understand how my mom felt i guess when i was obsessed with the 70s in the 90s <laughs> um but yeah it's just it's weird it's, time has gone by very, very fast. I noticed this Corningware teapot here in the back 
that actually doesn't have a pattern on it. I don't, I think this might be the first time I've um, seen one like this that didn't actually have a pattern on it, but it is actually a corning wear. I thought maybe it wasn't corning wear at first, but it is. So I don't, I'm not sure when this is from, but it's interesting. And then this kind of like milk glass teapot, this has been here forever. I'm actually surprised it's not in the 50% off section. <laughs> it should be because I'm, I feel like I showed that months ago and it's still there. It's, it's really pretty too, but I don't have a use for it. It's so funny, I had been looking for a bread box like this for a really long time, both at thrift stores and in actual stores. Um, I noticed the two other canisters that matched the other one were down there, so I wonder why the one was over in the clearance and not the other ones. But yeah, I've been looking for a bread box just like this for months and months. Couldn't find one anywhere. I ended up just buying something different. Um, and of course now I see this one, so I was a little, um, I was thinking about like whether or not I should get it, but, um, the, just trying to open it up didn't want to open, so I just ended up passing on it, but it's just funny how you look for something for so long and then there it is as soon as you don't need it anymore. There were a bunch of old cake toppers in this little basket here and the look on the man's face in this one, I try to like zoom in, is so funny. I had me laughing so hard <laughs> once I got a close up look at his face. It was so funny. So we're back in the plastic section. I noticed right away this old Tupperware. We used to have this when I was a kid. We kept um, celery in it because there's a little, like a piece in the bottom that kind of, like a grate or whatever, but we would always keep our celery in here. And then I noticed they had a bunch of the, I, I just call them cereal containers because that's what we kept in them, but I guess you could keep other things in them too. And then of course the little spice, we had so many of these. This blue color is the color my mom had in the 90s, but prior to that in the 80s, we had a lot of the like 70s-ish colors. And then these are to hold like two liters of milk, yeah. I noticed this 80s looking kind of salad chopper. Um, I thought it was going to be like an as seen on TV, um, but then I looked down and I did see an actual as seen on TV. I was trying to figure it out at first. I couldn't quite understand it, but I think you put the pasta in the container with water and then you microwave it and that cooks your pasta, which um, 
Yeah, and then apparently the handle you can measure your spaghetti in, so that's a big seller. <laughs> big seller. I actually tried one of, it's not the exact same as this, but I remember trying something like that a really long time ago, and it, like I'm talking like 20 years. It does not cook your pasta very well at all. That was my takeaway from it. And then they have a huge section of VHS there, so I spent some time looking at that. And then I did notice another as seen on TV right before we were about to check out, uh, which I just think is funny. It's just furniture feet. <laughs> like, you know that that probably costs like $25 or $30, um, probably in two payments as seen on TV in like the 90s. And now you can find it in like the dollar store. <laughs> Uh, this section is where all the teapots used to be, but most of them I see have been sold. So now we're back home. I didn't get a video of the uh, hamper, but I just inserted this photo that I took. Uh, so we ended up getting this vintage Sori game. I think it's from the 60s. Uh, we'd been actually looking for this game for a while and then just happened to find it on that day. So that's funny. We'd pretty much given up. And then, of course, I had to get this vanity mirror. I just couldn't resist. I love that it's still in the box too. I don't know if I am gonna keep it. I feel like it would look really cool on like a vintage vanity. Um, but it was very dirty inside. It'd probably been just sitting for decades. Um, I was trying to, I don't even know what I was trying to do, <laughs> but I tried pulling it out, um, but it was hard to get out with one hand, but it was very dirty. So it definitely needs a good clean, but I don't know, it'll be yet to be determined whether I want to keep it or not, but I had one very, very similar to this when I was a teenager in the 90s that was from the 70s, except mine had doors that folded closed and then you opened the doors and there was mirrors on both of the doors too, so it would be like three mirrors, but the doors kind of angled. It was good for doing your hair so you could kind of like see from the side what it looked like. Um, but I had, I had been thinking about that for a long time actually, and it still had the paper in there and everything. Um, I love how it had like the different light settings. Um, and then we did end up getting the two cake pans. I think John put those up on eBay. I know some of them are really collectible. Um, and then I of course got the two mugs. Um, probably gonna put those up on Etsy. I got this, I've been trying to collect just plain white, um, like Fire King or Pyrex or whatever. I got the two pictures, still haven't decided where I'm gonna put them. I did find a couple of VHS. I found The Great Outdoors, which I love this movie so much. I had been looking for it for a long time and never came across it. And then, uh, I found this movie, Marvin's Room as well, which I've been looking for that one for a while too, so it was kind of nice to find two that I'd been wanting. And then right as we were checking out, I found this Judy Garland paper dolls book. Um, we were just like, we, actually we had already checked out. We were walking away and I saw it on top of the counter and my heart started beating so fast. I was thinking, oh my gosh. So, um, John went back and bought that for me so I am obsessed it doesn't actually have like the doll in it but uh just so amazing so so amazing I'm such a huge Judy Garland fan actually yes I think it does have the doll in it I'm just seeing that right there I didn't notice that the actual doll was in it until right now looking at it but there's so many amazing like outfits in here it's just it's really cool. I'm very excited that I found that. Um, I'm not sure what year it's from, but I feel like I couldn't find a year on it, but it's very, very cool. They actually had a whole bunch of different ones, but this is the only one I was really interested in. Okay, I did just notice that it, I think it said 1982. I don't know if that means the book or not though, but in any case, it doesn't really matter when it's from, it's amazing. I used to have paper dolls, not Judy Garland ones, but I used to have paper dolls when I was really a little kid and I was, I just never really think about that, but I don't know, I guess that's like not really a thing anymore. 
And then of course I got the salt and pepper shakers. Now, what was interesting about it was when I flipped him over, the stopper looks really new to me and it didn't say like Japan or UNESCO or anything on it. And then I, I thought the same thing for the cheese, but then I did notice the cheese does say Japan. It's just kind of smudged a little. So I was like, oh, that's really interesting. But then when I got it home, um, I looked at my like current, the current mouse that I have that is old and says Japan on the bottom. And they do look um, different. They're in the exact same pose with the same eyes and everything, but that newer one looks a little bigger and he's obviously like different colored, but this one, the stopper looks really old. So I'm not actually sure if that's like a reproduction or not or, or what, but I was just going to, I thought the, the mice were the same so I was just gonna sell one of them but I think I'm just gonna keep them both now since they look um, different so anyway I'm not sure what that is but I'm almost positive that Inesco was the original maker of those but I'm very happy that I found them anyway so anyway that is my very long thrift with me in Salvation Army today thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon